Welcome to our lecture online and now let's do an example that has a natural log in the equation. So here we have a, an exact differential equation of the first order, 2x times the natural log of y dx plus x squared over y dy equals 0. Again, it's in the general format of a times dx plus b times dy equals 0. The general solution to that will be some function u of x and y so that the differential can be written as a general format and we know that the differential must be equal to zero based on the original equation, which means that the, the solution u must be equal to a constant. We're going to use all that information to solve the equation. We do know that, of course, this portion right here of the equation relates to the a in the equation here, and this right here relates to the b over here, which means that u, the general solution, can be found by taking the integral of a times dx plus a constant of integration which would be some function of y. Now, why is the constant of integration a function itself? Well, that's because a was obtained by taking the partial derivative of u with respect to x, which means that y had to be equal to a constant. And of course, this y is equal to a constant when integrated, we have to account that any function of y will survive and become the constant of integration. Plugging in what a is equal to, we can then say that u is equal to the integral of 2x times the natural log of y times dx plus the constant of integration k of y. So let's go ahead and integrate that. Remember, since y is a constant, then the natural log of y will be a constant. So u can then be written as the integral of 2x, which would be the would be 2x squared over 2 times the natural log of y plus the k of y, the function of y. And this here would then, of course, be the general solution of the original differential equation. And we can go ahead and simplify that by canceling the twos. Now, we don't know what this function is. We don't know what k of y is. It's some function of y, but we can actually find it by doing the following. We can say that b, which is equal to x squared over y, so b, which is equal to x squared over y, must also be equal to the partial of the final solution u, the with respect to y. So we know that this is equal to the partial of the solution, the general solution, with respect to y. And since the general solution is equal to this, we can therefore set this equal to the partial of this with respect to y. So we can solve for the unknown k of y right here. So this would be equal to the partial of u with respect to y, and u is equal to x squared times the natural log of y plus some unknown function of y. All right, when we take the partial derivative of that, what do we get? Well, whatever it is, it should equal x squared over y. So x squared over y is equal to the partial of this with respect to y. See that x squared would be a constant. So we have x squared and the partial of the natural log of y with respect to y would be one over y. And then plus the partial with respect to y of the unknown function, which is k of y. Of course, we don't know yet what that function is, so we'll just leave it in that format. Now, what we have on the left side here, we have x squared over y. On the right side, we have x squared over y plus this. So the x squares over y cancels, which means that this is equal to 0. So let's come over here. So we know that the partial with respect to y of the unknown function, k of y, is equal to 0. And if this is equal to zero, then you know that the function itself must be equal to a constant because the derivative of a constant is zero. So we know that k of y is equal to a constant. So we can then take this and plug it back in over here. This must therefore be a constant, which means the general solution u cannot be written as x squared times the natural log of y plus that constant c sub 1. Now, since u itself is a constant as well, we can replace this u by a constant, so we can write c2 is equal to x squared times the natural log of y plus c1, and when we combine the two constants, we can then simply write that x squared times the natural log of y is equal to a constant, and that then becomes the general solution of our original differential equation. Again, the way we do it is we take the integral of one of the two components of the function of, of the equation, either a or b, and then we go ahead and use this, the fact that, that u is equal to a constant and that when we set b equal to the differential of u, we can then solve for the unknown equation k of y, and that's how we find the solution. That's how it's done.